Hey guys, super quick vid. So the new iPhone 14 cases actually just shipped a couple days before the launch of the actual device. I thought it would be cool to order every single one in every single color because most people grab cases for their phones. A lot of people will just grab the standard iPhone ones, even though they cost a ton of money, like uh, Canadian dollars, 69 and uh, US, $49. There's other options, but these are just the standard silicone cases. And I guess the nice thing, Apple refreshes them every single cycle. So we have a ton of colors. The first one, which I wanna take a look at is the blue, because the new iPhone 14 color, their signature color is the blue. Obviously you have the standard ones, the Midnight, Starlight, Product Red, Purple, I'm almost blanking. The fifth one is the blue. And I'm holding the iPhone 13 right now because they actually have the exact same form factor. So technically, I'm just lining this up uh, on top of the case. These should fit. Um, they should, because it's the same thing. So let's take a look at the first one. And this first case is called Storm Blue. This is the one I would probably get if I was in two cases. I tend to rock my phones naked anyways. Here is Storm Blue. And I'll stick my 13 green off to the side. I will use the 13 in blue. And technically, the new blue is lighter, but as I expected, the case fits nice and snug. And you, of course, have that very nice soft touch plastic, that silicone on the back. And this is Storm Blue for your iPhone 14. Or 13. Or 13. Good job, Nick. It's like a blue on a stormy day. Cool. Uh, next up, we have another silicone case. So this one, of course, is in yellow. This one is called Sun Glow. If I were in charge of Apple's naming scheme, I would probably call this like Autumn Glow because we're getting into September, but this to me would be a summer case. This is quite a bright, I wouldn't say vibrant. It's not too saturated. It's actually a really good combo with the 13 in blue, I think that's a pretty nice contrast. And once again, you've just got the darker Apple logo and that is Sun Glow Yellow. I dig it if I were into yellow. Canoopsie, I know that you're a big yellow fan. Um, I'm still waiting on the orange cases. And I will say Apple did come out with a leather case in orange this year. Those are coming later on, so um, back to the cases. This one is officially called Midnight. So if you get a midnight color iPhone, this phone case should match exactly to that color. And if we take this out, you can see that Midnight is almost black. At first glance, you would probably say this is a black case slash black phone, but there is the tiniest hint of blue in it. And I did forget to mention, you can see on the inside, as all Apple cases are, you would expect that they are MagSafe compatible. So that's that little logo. I don't think that's justified still for the price, but for 49 US or 69 Canadian, you are the proud owner of a case that probably takes two bucks or a buck to make from Apple. So this is Midnight. Once again, this is probably one of the most basic colors. I would say uh, if you wanna keep it safe, if you want to keep it not on the color spectrum, Midnight is probably the one that you would get. So we'll slide that off. Next off, we are switching to Product Red. So once again, there is a Product Red iPhone. So once again, if you want to match up your cases with your phones, you can do the double color combo. So product red, I wouldn't say this is a saturated red. It's leaning a bit more into the salmon, a bit pinkish. I would love to have it a bit more saturated. Once again, it's personal preference. And I do think it kind of leans towards the pinkish scale in um, my opinion, but it does look sleek. It does look good, but not my favorite color of uh, product reds. And for some weird reason, Apple changes their product reds over the years. Some are darker, some are a bit more saturated. And uh, this year it is um, a bit more on the lighter side. Switching off into one that really caught my eye. So I am a fan of this kind of minty green and this is officially called succulent. Is that a flower? Yeah, like a little succulent. Those little like tiny plants and flowers. Oh, are those the little like cactus looking things? Yeah, yeah those are little succulents. 
so kind of taking this off, I would liken this to a mint green. Any of you uh, Nike fans out there, uh, there's actually a mint green uh, pair of dunks. We'll flash a little photo of that uh, on the screen, but that is what this color reminds me of. Very neutral, very, I guess, chic, I would say. This kind of color is really in all those neutral colors. I kind of dig this one. This would, I'm kind of looking at them now. I would say this would match really well with like a darker iPhone. So if you get that, uh, the, the midnight color, I think that would look pretty clean. I do like that. That is succulent or the little green thing, cactus thing. I thought those were darker to be honest. Next off we have lilac. So another flower, technically a succulent, a succulent isn't a flower. It's more of a plant. Lilac is actually a flower. So, this should just look like a little shade of purple or a light purple. And that's exactly what it looks like. Lilac looks good. Once again, not my favorite color. It's a bit more on that pastel side, but I do know a lot of people that dig uh, this kind of colorway. I think Kat would actually like that. I'll put that on top. And the last two cases. So this one is elderberry. Um, almost reminds me of the purple leather. I think that was dark cherry that they had maybe two seasons ago. Yeah, and this really looks a bit plumish, to be honest. I'm a fan of this. It's uh, it's a bit dark, it's a bit brooding, almost uh, reminds me of uh, some Halloween theme. This could kind of go well. Actually, this would actually look really good with some sort of like orange contrast. So I think the elderberry looks good. I'm just gonna call it plum for my sake because that's what it reminds me of. And the very last case, if I can stack these up, another pastel one, that's interesting. So this is called chalk pink and for any of you know, I just uh, kind of sold my chalk 911. I replaced it with a silver one. So the color chalk has a really good meaning for me. But in this case, it is in hints of pink. Once again, a super, super light color. It seems that uh, the majority of these are very light. And if anything, this is very similar to the lilac, to be honest. Both of these colors are very light. Obviously, the lilac is a bit purplish. The chalk pink, hence the name is a bit pink. And that is kind of all of the cases of the brand new iPhone 14 line. And in kind of typical Apple fashion, the accessories come out before the actual devices. So I am picking my device up tomorrow. I'm pretty sure embargo is either tomorrow or Thursday because everyone else, whenever they pre-order them, they will be arriving on Friday. So make sure you're subbed to the channel. Which colorway is your favorite? If I had to pick one, I am still leaning towards the storm blue. I think that looks pretty good. And if I were to go with a lighter one, I can already not remember the name. Succulent. Succulent. Those are my top two picks. Make sure you're set to the channel. If you guys want, I can give actually one of these cases away as I'm not gonna use probably most of them. So uh, let me know which one your favorite color is down below. Hopefully you're subbed for more iPhone 14 and the rest of the Apple coverage that uh, we just went through. All those products are coming in. That's it for this quick vid. I'll catch the rest of you in one of my next ones. Peace.